What's the problem? The whole damn system. What's the solution? Revolution. What's the problem? The whole damn system. What's the solution? What's the problem? The whole damn system. What's the solution? Revolution. Ah. Ah. We've been without a daggone food market for four years. You came to the community two years ago ready to start a revolution. I don't care if you're I pay rent and live in this community. I've been here 40 years. Do not put in other issues not related to what happened yesterday. No, because y'all are all no outside of the yes, baby. Top I am talking about the They do not represent the I got that. I got one of the blocks. You're scooping on the opportunity to attack me. We call those black. Where do you live? They will get me confused with Leslie Hurst. They will call those black. They will use a communist on camera if you do it for fun. I'm not a communist. I'm no, a no, no, more. I'm a comment. A comment. Yes, I will. Yes. Ring. yes. My name is Yvonne Davis. I'm from Columbia College, Chicago. I'm from South Shore High School. I've been in this community for 44 years. I know that we have not had redevelopment in this community. Alderman Leslie Harrison, you know me. Everyone thinks I'm you. People in this community talk to me. You do nothing to redevelop the community. You let outside agitators come in here so our young people can get arrested and put in jail so they will not be able to pay their rent and be forced out. Now, as I ask these agitators, all of them, we can work out a systematic plan. We have a lot of educated, retired seniors in this community that can help talk to Piedmont from the High Park Herald, who's running against Leslie Harrison, or Leslie Harrison, who lives a few blocks away, who has not been out to not, represent this community. So time. I will be here and meeting with people from Chicago State and other education institutions yes. to talk with the young people so they can systematically design a blueprint against blue police brutality yes, and take it to each one of their individual community. Yes, now these people right here don't like me because they're too close to my gym, and I tell them, can you don't come over here and play. I got hit and crushed by a bus. Do you think I'm out here to fight with some people passing out t-shirts so the police can arrest everyone wearing a t-shirt? Don't use 1960s tactics in 2018. Come on now. So explain why you're out here. I mean, after what happened. Oh, I love you. We're not black. We are <laughs> Moors. Quit calling us black. I'm saying we don't need... What happened needs to be investigated. Okay? We don't need outside black life matters and people coming in and railing up people who don't have jobs, don't have money, they're not that are not here. We don't need people from other communities coming here. Right now they got the DuSable Art Fair and they got George Clinton down at Tapes. Our, our people are away from their units. People can burglarize us saying they're coming to the rally. I'm speaking on these people. So until these guys have a plan and will work with a community group, as I said, if you want to meet up with Piedmont, or uh, Leslie Harrison's office, they're open on Monday. You think they're just here more for the publicity? Yes. It's a photo shoot, okay? Yes. Anytime you call us black, we're not black. So what do you think needs to happen? We are more. This? This uh, what do you think needs to happen? Once, once you gather, you know, I work in ultra research. We work with all you put a person his age, her, him, all together, we may have different views, but we'll all come to the same conclusion. I have talked to other people who's coming out here, and we're going to listen, and we're going to gather. There's senior builders over here. I'm an AARP member. I don't mind talking to them and finding out their input, what should be done. But for outside agitators coming in and getting people who are broke, who can't afford to be at this art fair, who can't afford to be down at Tate's, upset, we don't need the few stores we have here messed up. So I want these people to understand it. Why are they talking about other topics when it has nothing to do with what happened yesterday? Can you, can you give us your name again? My name is Yvonne Davis. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Yvonne. Yvonne, spell your first name for me. My name is Bianca Wright, B-I-A-N-C-A-W-R-I-J-T. And I'm, well, I want to talk about my son. He was killed July 27th, 19, May 2018, I'm sorry. And I still ain't, haven't got no justice. How you doing, love? I have still haven't got no justice. I know police ain't said nothing to me. All I know that it was it was like around ten something at night up here at this little restaurant at Jeffrey Sub. And all I know that I got a phone call that five people got shot up here and my son was the one that got killed. So I'm just trying to get justice for my son. His name is Zaya Benjamin. He was born July 
I mean, June 16, 1999. He was only 18 years old, and the police have not done anything or said anything about my son. And all I want is justice for my son. So your son's cases are, remains unsolved at this time? Yes, sir. What are the steps, what is, what has, what kind of process have you gone so far since the day that your son was murdered? Well, I called, and they said they had no, well, I heard information, I gave them information of what I heard, and that was it, and they ain't called me back, because they did not give me the same detectives that they assigned me to, so when I called, it was different detectives, so they didn't know, didn't even know none about my case, and I'm still at the same address, my mama still had the same number, I, my phone is off, so... They could have called my mama, but they could have sent me something in the mail. But they did not take any type of steps or did anything yet to say if they saw or say, uh, if they had anybody yet. Okay, so you are from this neighborhood, right? Yes. Okay, and now, do you know what the protest behind you? Yes, this is about, yes, a police had they killed, well, I know in 2016, they killed another individual. His name was Alfonso, they called him no-no, and they killed him. So now, yesterday, as you can see, this protest is about them killing another man that was, he had a gun, I heard. And, but they, he told them he had a gun and the, and the police officer still shot him. For what reason? But I thought they was there to protect the servers, but they sound like they not doing their job. They more scary on that than back in the days how they used to be when they used to protect the servers. But now, that's not what they do. They killing us, black people, well, not only black people, everybody. It's, it's a shame. We know the Thank police you. officers in a foreign country. That's what they do. They occupy our neighborhoods like, like foreign troops. You know, they policy enforcers. You know, they're not here to enforce the real law. They're here to enforce their own policy. Yes, they want people to be scared of them. They after the wrong people. When they supposed to be doing their job, they're not doing their job. Y'all after the wrong people. They do too much out here. I'm sorry. Okay, Joseph, go ahead. So you're name. Say your name and spell it out. Joseph Saunders, J-O-S-E-P-H. Saunders. 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 This is a situation at hand. It gotta be addressed. We got Laquan McDonald, you know, thing coming up. And man, just people just tired, man. I'm tired, bro, you know? And we just want justice. That's it. Now, I hear in the background, uh, the group that's back there, they're saying overthrow the government. It's, they're uh, saying, is that's what they're saying is the solution. Do you, is, do you agree with that solution? Or what's the solution that you're looking for here? I kinda do. I feel like uh, the system needs to be dismantled. You know what I'm saying, and 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 brought back together again, if it can be. You know what I'm saying, but it's so corrupt, it's so filthy right now. You know what I'm saying, it just needs to be the slate needs to be wiped clean. You know what I'm saying, kind of like in the days of Noah, it was so wicked. God had to wipe everything out and start all over again. You know what I mean? And that's kind of like how I feel with this system, man. It's too corrupt. You know, who knows if it can be clean, bro? You know, they talk about revolution, they, they throw that word around, but that's real, man. We need a 360 degree change of everything, bro. Our people are tired, man, you know? Thank you very much yes, for your coming, Joseph. You are a corporation that has no right to fucking kill, bitch. You think we slaves or something? You can abuse us? Right, fuck out of here. Y'all need to go on back across the street. That's why we ain't over there, because we don't want y'all over here. But y'all come over here anyway. Then you get when you come over here, you fuck boys. All y'all suck dick for a dollar. Every one of y'all suck dick for a dollar. Sell out bitches.
Say your name. I'm Joseph Michael Carr. That's J O S E F. Michael M I C H A E L Carr. C A R R. And I am out here today on July 15th because last night there was a fatal killing of one of the South Shore residents. And he has been a barber here in the community. Uh, he has been known. He's a father. He's a family man. He's a son. And what, we, what happened yesterday was a situation where feel as if it could have been resolved without a fatal shooting. Now, is this something that has been going on for a while here? Well, fatal shootings around black men have been going on for uh, centuries. Mm -hmm. uh, what I want to say is right now here in South Shore, this is the second incident that we've had in two years. So this isn't something that's new. This is something that's reoccurring. And when you look at the surroundings on this 71st Street strip, you'll see that this is actually the worst part of this community. If you look at the communities that sit adjacent to South Shore, the Hyde Park community, the southeast side of Chicago, there are flourishing businesses. There are businesses in Hyde Park where there are chains, it's multicultural, it's a walking community. However, the community that we live in in South Shore is like a tale of two cities. Every night we have to worry about whether we can walk the streets tonight. I was walking home from a meeting last Tuesday night and I walked on this very strip. It was nine o'clock at night. I live in my own community and I'm never gonna be afraid to walk in my own community, regardless. But it was like Night of the Living Base Heads from the old Public Enemy song. Everybody was on some type of drug. One gentleman approached me and his colostomy bag had fallen out two or three steps before he talked to me. So he reached up, pulled his shirt up, and then his whole colon is sitting out. There's blood running down his leg and he's asking me for money because he doesn't have health care. These are basic issues. These are basic human rights issues. You should be able to afford housing. You should be able to take care of your family. You should have a job to be able to have a living. These are basic human rights and they're not even met within our own communities here in South Shore. Now tell me, Mr. Carr, um, who is, what ward and who is currently the alderman in this ward here? And what is that person doing about all of this? The current alderman, her name is Alderman Leslie Hurston. She's been in office since 1999. This will be her 18th year in office. 
I am running against Alderman Harrison for the you seat. You need to, cause she ain't shit. She ain't gonna never be shit. She don't do shit for our community. There you, you see go. This way she is. And she's nowhere. This happened yesterday. You think she been she out here? No. No. Everybody saw me out so here yesterday. What is your name? So I can vote for you, sir. Joseph Michael Carr. Pleased to meet you here. I'll give you a card. I appreciate it, cause Leslie Harrison ain't did shit for this city. You hear me? She ain't did shit for this community. Sorry. Thank you very much. And she ain't been up here since. We ain't seen her face not one time. So what good is she to us? We can, so what good is she to us? Where's Jesse Jackson? Where's the rest of them? Ain't none of them out here. Right. And I was out here last night and I've been out here every night. We need somebody to speak up for us. You understand me? Right. And when people don't have a voice, they feel as if nobody is listening to what them. They, what they, what they going to protest for? They going to let that lady go, that man go, whoever shot that, that boy yesterday. They going to get off. They always do. There's a big but difference where's our between justice and the law. She ain't nowhere out here, is she? Nope. Not at all. <laughs> Be blessed, sir. Would you tell, okay, so, uh, uh, it sounds like the alderman ain't doing uh, anything out here and has been here for a while. Is that where we're at right now? Could you give us some more that's background a, on this? That's exactly where we're at. 18 years and she's running for re-election once again in 2019. And I'm running against her. So we have to make sure that the people here in this South Shore community and in High Park, they know that I'm running because I'm a viable option. I'm for our community. I don't want to see outsiders come into our community and incite violence. And that's the situation that happened yesterday, too. Do you believe the people be, uh, behind you, are they from this neighborhood? No. The people from this, behind me in this march, they are not all from this neighborhood. So that voice is not from uh, the, uh, this neighborhood, though, right? From the South Shore? No. I want to say that this is part of a group called Revcom. This group is revolutionary communists that have moved into the South Shore community and they have been started. The whole damn system! Many of the insightful protests and language that's been going around this police shooting. Okay. So then, we look forward to uh, you running and it's going to be this year, right? The election? 2019. We start getting on the ballot at the end of this year. Right. Okay, then. Thank you, Mr. Carr. Thank you. All right. Who shut it down? We shut it down. Who 